Yo, uh, what's up everybody? There is a uh, video that just went out from WoW and people have been spamming my Discord, Twitter to get me to watch this. We're live, we're gonna watch this, we're gonna react to this and I'll let you guys know what I think. The only thing I know about it is that it's a 20th anniversary in-game event preview. That's all I know. So let us check it out. is now live and while we can't wait for everyone to experience the upcoming endgame content, the train isn't stopping. Arriving on the PTR soon, the team will be testing a new anniversary event for World of Warcraft. Today we're here with Holly, Brett, and Leah to share more on what the live team has been cooking up. So Holly, yes, let's talk anniversary. Yeah, I mean, 20th anniversary for World of Warcraft, 30th for Warcraft, and 10th for Hearthstone. What an amazing journey and to be leading into it this year you know, our commitment to make the game feel alive every single day that you log in. All the work we're doing to kick off the World Soul Saga. So excited that War Within is launched and everyone's in it now and part of this world story. And we're gonna see where it's going. We're not stopping. So anniversary is coming up and we've got some good friends here to talk mm. about what's coming. With such a big milestone for the game, how did you approach this year's anniversary? 20th anniversary. Uh, that's a great question. Um, last fall even. Real quick, isn't that crazy? This is this is a this is something I've been thinking about semi semi recently. Or semi just, just just lately. Like I've been thinking about this lately. If you think about popular live service games, how many like popular live service games are still active from like the last like 20 years? Like how how old are they in the first place? Most popular live service games are relatively old. Like games they, they're lasting so long. If you think of WoW, League of Legends is old now which that's kind of weird. Uh, even old school RuneScape, Final Fantasy XIV, Counter-Strike was still just fine, just, you know, until uh, Counter-Strike 2 just came out. Pretty much every, like, like, live service PvP game has been around for a long time. Dota, PoE was 2012, 2013, something like that. Even, even like, the newer ones, like, Fortnite was what, 2016, 2017? It, it's just kind of crazy to think about, like, how a lot of these games are, like, they're, they're lasting a long time, and you're like, what the hell? But, like, when you hear 20th anniversary, you think, what the hell? Like, 20 years? That's wild. When you start looking at, like, the whole scope of gaming, most, most of these games have been around forever. Uh, I started to look into what kind of event we wanted to do. Um, we've had various events in the past. For the 15th, we did that really epic raid. So I did some ideas, and it really really became a patch. We sat down, we did a huge brainstorm with the live team, and then we started to pick the top ones and see what we could do to cover all of our different player segments. So it was really a fun experience to like flush out all these cool ideas. What was at the top of that list? By far the top one. I uh, love looking at the behind the scenes. Blackrock Depths really fondly. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And so we fondly are. Fondly is a word. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, everybody really, really wanted to do something with Blackrock Depths. And Good so idea. as okay. we looked at all of these features, we really wanted to make them new and innovative, but also harken back. So we are going to be bringing Blackrock Depths as a 10 to 15 player raid. We're really excited. We have eight main bosses, five mini bosses. That'll probably be and fun. Basically, for we'll have LFR, normal, and heroic difficulties. <laughs> I remember Blackrock Depths. I was there with my hunter just farming that gladiator's chainmail over and over and dude. over again. It was always random, too, oh, yeah. so you didn't have a chance always. <laughs> dude, dude, you guys remember when I got this in Classic, man? I was five years ago. I spent two weeks trying to get this every single night. And then eventually what we did, it was me and Mad Season. We were like, guys, let's do split runs for the Savage Gladiators chain. So we would have four people go run BRD to the arena event. They tried to fish for the, uh, the boss for the Savage Gladiators chain. And then what ended up happening was they go four man, go to the boss. Hey, it spawned, it spawned. S-Fan, run in here. I ran in there, and then we, we would try and kill the boss. And there's still a chance that the Savage Gladiator chain might not drop. But eventually we got it, but we, it was like clockwork. And then we did the same thing for Mad Season as well. Because me, me and Mad Season both spent forever tr trying to uh, trying to grind out this chess piece. But like we just got the guild together and, and made these split runs. And it was super fun. Like We didn't even know we could do that at the time. We, we were just like, can we do this? Can we try it? Like, let's, let's see if we can take the idea of split runs and apply it to this. And it was super, super cool. Super fun. I got on my second try. Dude, the amount of people 
they were like, dude, I got on my second try. Or like, oh, I just, I, I didn't even know what this atom was. And I just ran in there. I was like, oh, I'm so jealous. It's that, great. It took forever. <laughs> great so I'm, I'm excited to go back in there and uh, hopefully get my revenge. <laughs> I remember going there and dying. Oh. So, <laughs> you know, if anyone wants to carry me in a heroic, uh, just uh, ring me up. What other features are there going to be in the anniversary event? Yeah, so we really wanted to do an outdoor experience to sort of revisit the Gates of Ancrage opening. And who better to take us on this adventure than Chromie? Oh no. We love Chromie. <laughs> so okay. Chromie has this codex that she uses to safely <laughs> display the past. And well, you can expect there's going to be some crazy time things happening with that. So we're going to have enemies popping up that should not be there within Silithus, like the Scourge, the Legion, Karaji, and we're going to see some familiar names like Tychondrius, Assyrian, and Kalthazad. Ah, awesome. Kalthazad again. Oh, man. Yeah, OK. A really cool experience. Players will get to queue in whenever they want. Um, they'll get put together with other players. The dude looks like a young get Gordon to go through this kind of epic the mustache, fixing of the past. <laughs> again. Oh, again. Me. Yeah. As we would say, tiny whiny. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of the past, is there anything else that we'll be revisiting? So we've heard the community loud and clear. Um, we know that time walking is very popular. So so the team has put together some incredible time walking dungeons. And, and some of you may be thinking BFA, but that's not quite yet. We're actually going back in time to fill in one of the areas that we have not hit yet, and that is the original dungeon. So we're going to be bringing Dead Mines, Zulfarak, Dire Maul, and Stratholm. So there'll be two Dire Maul wings and the two Stratholm wings. They'll the be hell? introduced with the uh, 20th, but they'll continue into the regular rotation afterwards. A couple other things that we're going to change with time walking. We're going to allow players from 10 and up to do it. So a lot of those people that like to level um, will have more opportunity there. And then we're what? also realizing that or uh, dude, it seems like they're just implementing all of all of vanilla we're wow and time walking. <laughs> we're going to allow players from 10 and up to do it. So a lot of those people that like to level um, will have more opportunity there. And then we're also realizing that a lot of people already have all of the items from the ver various vendors. So we are going to do a vendor refresh. And so you might see some new mounts and pets and transmogs show up on each of the vendors as we go through the different time walkings going forward. So I can go to Dire Mall, get loot and more loot and more loot. <laughs> yeah, we're really excited for everybody yeah. to get to a chance to go after the things they like, you know, if they enjoy doing the dungeon. This is run honestly, this is a pretty good idea for an anniversary event. Been available. Yeah. Is there still a chance for Baron Rivendare's charger to drop? We may have a, you know, a chance in time walking for that mount, actually, nice. yes. <laughs> Wait, can that, can that, that not drop kill, anymore? Are you serious? <laughs> You're that player? Yeah, it's oh. the only one who got first oh God, That's so awesome. <laughs> my, my lucky one was the Headless Horseman's one. Oh so my wow. I, got, like, I, I couldn't get the charger, but I ended oh. up with that one. So. It took me yeah. years to get that one. <laughs> <laughs> so when I think about WoW's anniversary event, I always think about the Caverns of Time and the party there. Is there any changes to the celebration? Oh yeah, we have a lot of changes. So you're used to going into the Caverns of Time to sort of experience the anniversary. But you're going to notice right away that everything is right at the entrance, right outside. And there's all kinds of activities there for people to do. We have a mini trial of style kind of event called Fashion Frenzy, where you're going to have frenzy. like different themes to dress up to and vote on your favorite transmogs. We have a storyteller, Lorewalker Cho, is going to tell a few different stories and you get to participate in the audience. We also have Mount Mania, which is a fun game where you're going to get to kind of It's show a transmog contest in a mount off. It's a perfect one for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love mounts. I love showing transmog off Transmog contest in mount really offs. <laughs> There's a lot of different things for you they to put just the explore outside of the, the activities. We have an ice rink, so you're going to be able to just slide around. Well, ice scenarios. skating! We have a pet corner where you're going to be able to turn into your pet. We have costumes you can cosplay as heroes and villains from the past. You can run around and like scream different voice lines at people, which is a <laughs> lot of fun. My favorite is hey. uh, Illidan. Hey. You can be like, you're mm -hmm. not prepared. Guys, listen. Hey. Asin's been stealing for years. Blizzard's like, hey, it's our turn. <laughs> Asin's been stealing for years, dude. Blizzard's like, nah, it's our turn now, okay? 
<laughs> Yoink my content now. There, you just stand and tell everybody you're not prepared. So funny, dude. We also have guest relations where you're going to be solving riddles and clues and That's other things to funny, help man. out the visitors within the caverns of time. Oh, so like That's Secrets awesome. of Azeroth? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like nice. a Secrets of Azeroth sequel, basically. I love that. Awesome. I had so much fun with that. Is Korax Revenge, the PvP brawl, coming back? Uh, yes, so Korax Returns will have that during the whole event. We actually moved the vendors to the new hub. We also have the three world bosses returning, the world dragons, then we have Azurgos and Kazakh as well. Plus, we have two new gate crashers. Shaw of Anger is gonna show up, and so is Archivon the Stone Watcher. They'll both be out in Tanaris as well. So what the hell? With so many new activities this year, are there new rewards? Of course, uh, as we looked at the marquee reward for this event, we've come up with a cool riff on a phoenix mount. So basically, Ashes of Lar was really good back in the day that we really thought was iconic, and so we've iterated on it, and now we have this blue cold flame tempest mount. So you yeah, have Moltres and Articuno, and where's uh, one the, what's cool the other one? We do Zapdos? Is here at Blizzard, we have service rewards. So as you're here a few years, you'll get a sword and a shield. So we use that as our basis to do the armor on that mount. And we enjoyed it so much, and the artists, they actually spent one of their hackathons wow. making our service rewards in the game. So you'll be able to collect through the 20th, the sword, the shield, the crown that we have. We even have a ring toy that we're gonna have players able to get. It's kind of iconic to have essentially a World of Warcraft team. I do think that's something that Blizzard trans- always did that was really cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Essentially. Like people yeah, that were at the company yeah. for a long you time that we get like of armor service rewards. As one of our rewards. Yeah, 30 years, right? We haven't picked the 30 year <laughs> service reward yet. <laughs> we also have a balloon toy, which is really cool. And my favorite is Meh. the baby dreadlord pet. Oh my god! So I'm excited to go to the hub and no, not fire, become my baby it? dreadlord pet and run around in the area as a. What's your little sword? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> One of our artists, uh, Mats, he was able to put together um, the sword like Kazak has, but in baby form. So yeah. it's really cool that it fits really well. It's like a butter knife. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Are there any rewards for the Warcraft 30th anniversary? Yeah, so we have some faction crests, which are gonna be back pieces for each of the four Warcraft 3 factions, which is Orc, Human, Night Elf, and Scourge. And these are going to be coming in the November trading post. How will players get these cool rewards? It's a great question. Uh, we are going to be introducing a new currency this year. Um, players will be able to collect it from our weekly quests that we'll have for each of our features. And then we also are making sure that if you're really into the season one content, you can still do those weekly quests and the weekly activities. This to is, this the is like a very good well. idea you're for gonna an get a lot of tokens then. and you'll need them because we do have one other big reward. Um, as we started to think about this, we talked with our artists and everybody really agreed we needed to really go iconic and we looked back at our tier two sets. So we ended up making all of the tier two sets modern with the new modeling, the new VFX. Oh, no shit. I can't wait to see people walking around in the judgment armor. Oh my gosh, that looks good. Oh my goodness. All of the tier two sets. Damn. With the new modeling, the new VFX. I can't wait to see people walking around in the judgment armor. Holy cow. That looks incredible. Dude, that looks insane. What about the classes, though, that weren't available when Tier 2 came out? That's a good point. You know, we didn't have monks back then, but uh, we didn't have evokers back then. But we did have a dragon, and they wore armor, and so we really looked at NPCs that were at that period of time. So Nefarian was our model for doing the evoker set. We looked at also like other really? NPCs that existed back in the day. And so each of the new classes do have their own sets. So wait, that's so cool. Will have a tier two upres set. Wow. Speaking of classes, there's some cool. I don't even like coming. those classes. Yeah, I hate I'm all those so classes. I'm excited for that's, Drag here to finally get more classes. That was actually cool. So you can expect to see. Dude, the Illidan and the, the Arthas? NPC that existed back in the day, and so each you of can get the Lich new King classes gear? do have their own set, so all... Yeah, frick these guys, but that's classes sick! classes will have a tier two up res set. There's okay. some cool changes coming. Yes, I'm so excited for Drakthir to finally get more classes. So you can expect to see six new classes with them. We have Hunter, Rogue, Priest, Mage, Warrior, and Warlock. 
And we're also getting a new sky riding talent, which is called Squadrons, where you're gonna be able to have two drag theory companions flying alongside you in like a formation, which is so cool. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Amazing. Drag they're gonna be like Top Gun. Yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> Gotta reserve my goose name. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's gonna be reserving now. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> is there any other class changes coming? Uh, yes, uh, we've heard loud and clear from the shamans that they are ready for something new and we are ready to deliver. We have brand new ascendance forms. They really are cool looking they match each of the elements that shamans use what are ascendance forms I, I did I miss this <laughs> ascendance forms they really are cool looking they match each of the elements that shamans use they look amazing they really do this update sounds so amazing <laughs> this shaman cooldown they've had since cataclysm hey now you know that's when I quit <laughs> Before we go, is there any other additional details we should tell players? But what was the animation yes, for it? Yes, one of the things we really wanted to call out. There was, a, there was an animation for it before that I just never saw? Cool looking, they match each of the elements that shamans use. They look amazing. They really do. This update sounds so amazing. Before we go, is there any other additional details we should tell players? Yes, one of the things we really want to call out is in the past, these events have been three to four weeks around the anniversary, um, but this time, this is the patch. The entire 1105 patch is really dedicated to the 20th anniversary. Uh, it'll go for more than two months. We have a lot of time for everybody to get into these features, experience them, play as much as they want, and work towards those 13 sets. Yeah, and even though we just launched The War Within, this PTR is coming very, very soon. So keep a lookout for the news on when that's coming to you. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk about the 20th anniversary with me. And I can't wait to celebrate the 20th anniversary with you in game. See you next time. Dude, they weren't joking when they said it's like a whole ass patch. It's a 20th anniversary patch. It's not even a, uh, just like a little event, a side event. You know what? Something's wrong with the eyes. Something is wrong here. That it, it's unbelievable, like beautiful, amazing. But something is off here, and I can't tell what it is. Ah, uh, I see it. Look, you see how this flares out and it curves at the bottom and curves at the top, as opposed to here, and then it's angled out, angled out, and here, boom, boom, boom. This is a lot more V-shaped, and this is a lot more like, I see this, and it looks like fortified. It looks like ironclad. Here you go, here's your warrior. Oh, oh, dude, that wrath set looks sick. All of them look so good. Dude, oh my gosh, that looks good. Oh, the druid, they look so good. Oh my gosh. Look at that, dude. They freaking give him the, it's, it's basically just straight up Arthas. Death Knight. You know what's funny? This Hunter set, it ran together in my head so much that it doesn't look that much different. Let's see, Monk, Shaman, Evoker. Dude, the Shaman, oh man, the Shaman one looks like, like look at the belt. Look at the gloves. Damn. Holy. Look at the Blood Fang. Oh my gosh, the Rogue set. Holy. Damn, that looks good. Warlock, Warlock looks almost the same to me. Am I wrong? And then here's your here's your Illidan set, your uh, your your Demon Hunter set. Damn. Yeah, I would say the best ones are absolutely. I mean, they you know they put Paladin front and center for a reason. I just think they should do Circle Glow instead of like the the flare out because it looks like eyeshadow and maybe make it like white. This I think should be. Image, adjustments, blur. What do you guys think? So, uh, the eyes are still off, but like, I, I feel like, I just feel like this looks better. Like, I think, I think the, I think this version is better than the, than the one that they should. Now make the boots look cooler. Okay. Okay. I also think they should do this to the boots. Okay. Saved. Saved, <laughs> saved. Yeah, overall, I would say, I think this 20th anniversary event looks 
pretty sick. I think it's cool that they're basically putting out an entire patch for it. I, I would like to see them consider making the judgment faceplate on the on the helmet more more in this style rather than this style. Um, I think that would be good. I think that would be. I, I just I think this looks more like the original. I know whenever I saw this, I immediately was like, wait, something's wrong. And I, and I looked at it for a little bit longer and I was like, ah, this is what it is. It's mainly the thinner bar, uh, the glow being more like flared out instead, like it's almost like an eyeshadow thing instead of just like this like passive white glow, also blue instead of white. That's what I would like to see. And the forehead too a little bit, but the forehead's not as noticeable as the bottom. Those are the big things that I, that I would say. Other than that, dude, I think I think they're, the, the new sets look so cool. The, the remasters of the sets for retail. Here's here's another point that I kind of noticed. And yes, it's the 20th anniversary event. So like they're gonna call on a lot of old things in the game. I do think that it's pretty clear that there's a strong emphasis on trying to appeal to the people that miss that stuff, classic players in general. And I, and I think that's smart for them to do, find ways to keep classic WoW players engaged in WoW maybe even try and bring them to retail. I do think they're two very different types of games, but I think they're trying to find ways to appeal to the old school WoW player without it being necessarily oriented around gameplay. I think they don't want to change the gameplay of retail WoW, but they do want to find a way to appeal to classic players. And a lot of classic players like the gameplay of classic WoW. Like for me, like I, I loved Burning Crusade Rep Paladin. I love like the seal twisting and all that stuff. They actually brought it back in Sod, which I, I mean, I'm thankful for. I think it's great. And, I, and I've seen that a lot of Paladin players are super happy with the way Paladin plays in Sod now. Whereas at the beginning or like kind of like middle of Sod, they were like, man, this kind of sucks. Like we missed Burning Crusade. I'm happy for all that. I, I just, I'm always going to feel this way, man. I'm going to want people to enjoy WoW in, in a way that is like the best version for them. And that's just always how I'm going to feel, right? Because WoW was such a big part of my life for so many years. I think it, that it's great to see other people enjoying it, whether I'm actively playing or not at any given time. Because I won't always play retail, right? I won't always play classic, right? Like if a new classic fresh comes out, that doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to play it, right? Uh, even if they made a new Burning Crusade fresh, that doesn't necessarily mean that I would play it. I'd consider it, and I might. You never know. Yeah, I'm always going to love WoW. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, 20th anniversary event. I hope you guys are excited for it. And uh, if you like the video, like the video, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about the different versions of the judgment armor. If you liked my version, which was a little bit more similar to the original, or if you liked the new one. I, I'm, I'm just curious, right? Who knows? Maybe maybe Blizzard would, uh, would consider changing it to, to be more glow and, and more normal. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.